Today on Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas, we're going to cook up a Mommy Dearest Halloween party. Mommy Dearest was a movie made back in 1981 starring Faye Dunaway. It was about the life and relationship of Joan Crawford and her daughter Christina Crawford. Well, the movie was supposed to be a serious subject about their relationship, however, the acting was so over the top and the way the lines were delivered, it actually became very camp. And it's, it's very funny, so um, I've been watching this movie for a long time and I finally decided to create this Mommy Dearest Halloween party. So I'm gonna be showing you some of the foods that we uh, made for the party and the decorations and everything. So stay tuned for Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas and let's go. excited about this Mommy Dearest Halloween party and I was looking online and I really couldn't find any decorations for this party. So if you cannot find any decorations you're gonna have to make it yourself. So a couple of things that um, I'm gonna show you is are things that I'm putting together for this party and uh, so let's take a look all right. All right so the very first thing is there's this infamous line in the movie where she's driving with a teenage Christina Crawford, um, she's picking her up from school because she got in trouble at school. And they're driving in the car and uh, Joan Crawford, or Faye Dunaway in the movie, she says, um, well, she gets out her flask and Christina notices it and she goes, there's a liquor store around the corner. And Joan Crawford says, uh, I should have known you know where to find the boys and the booze. So to me, that is hysterical. I mean, I just laugh every time. And so, um, so I got these coasters, and then I got these coasters online, actually on Amazon, and they come in this box right here, and I have a whole bunch. I forgot how many is in here, but there is a lot. I wanna say there's at least, at least 20, maybe more. And, um, they come in this, it's for you to put a picture in the middle. So it's really easy, it has a little space in the back, you just slide a picture through, and this is a two by two, uh, it's for a two by two picture. So what I did was, I got a picture of that infamous scene. It says, I should have known you'd know where to find the boys and the booze. Looks just like that. And what I did was, I just, copied the image and put it in a Word document and I kind of sized it uh, to get it two by two so I definitely tried it out first and uh, put it on some uh, photograph paper and then I just slid it through. So on these coasters it says I should have known you'd know where to find the boys and the booze on these coasters which I think is hysterical. I mean that's just me. Okay, so we're back and let me show you some other things. So I went online again and I printed out some pictures of the movie. Now don't forget, this is a Halloween party and the part where she gets the wire hanger and it's at night and she wakes up Christina in the middle of the night and she's wearing this, I guess it's cold cream, face cream, and she's wearing a black, I guess it's a house coat or something like that. So to me, that's like the scariest part in the movie. So I got some pictures, printed it out on that photo paper, and got some just some cheap frames from the dollar store. They're only, you know, a dollar. <laughs> and so anyway, so here's one that I'm gonna have in the living room. Um, it's going to be displayed. I got some others. I mean, look at this one. I mean, what a scary image that is. <laughs> That's scarier than any vampire or Frankenstein I have ever seen. And then here's another one right there. So again, these are gonna be in the living room. I also have this one. Now this one may not be as scary as the others, but the look on her face is, uh, kind of tells you something there. So um, anyway, I think this would be kind of funny too to have out. 
Um, another thing too is I'm gonna have a photo booth and I found a Hollywood sign. All this stuff you can get at, on Amazon. And this one, it just opens up and it says Hollywood. It looks like this. Um, I'll open it up so you can see. But basically, has the Hollywood sign. And you do have to purchase a stand for it. You could put it up on the wall if you wanted to, maybe with some pins or something. But um, I bought the stand for it. And uh, so when we come back, I'm gonna show you what else I have in that box. Well, welcome back. So with our photo booth, um, in the invitation I sent to all the guests, it stated that if they can come in costume, and I'm asking that they come in costume uh, of a character from the movie. So it could be Joan Crawford, Christina, Christopher, L.B. Mayer, Uncle Greg, uh, Uncle Ted, um, and you know, Carol Ann, Helga, all the kind of like the main characters in the story or the ones that really stood out. And um, so they'll come in costume, there'll be a photo booth, and on the photo booth, it'll have a backdrop of Hollywood like you just saw. And then maybe a prop like a wire hanger. Or I'm also getting a uh, one of those film clapboards. And so we'll have some of that they can take pictures with. Um, and some other things I have in the box. Uh, I'm going to have two contests. One is for the costume. And one is going to be an acting contest. And the acting is where... Whoever they dressed up as, they have to perform approximately a one minute scene. And, uh, and they might probably will need a partner to do that. And so anyway, we're going to judge and vote for the best actor. So of course, whoever wins, whoever wins the acting contest will receive an Oscar <laughs> like this. Oh, thank you very much. And so anyway, I'll have something on here, like something for best mommy dearest actor, something like that. Okay, so making this wire hanger garland is super, super easy. Basically, you need white wire hangers, and you do need to measure your uh, space of the entrance. Um, I have these two large entrances. One goes from the living room to the kitchen and the other one is the living room to the entryway. So this is going to be the one for the entryway. And I have my, um, I have my white wire hangers. Um, you just don't want to use those uh, kind of silvery wire hangers. They're kind of more of a copper color, I guess, not silvery. But um, I like to use the white, I think it's gonna look nicer. Um, I got the blue, because that's Joan's favorite color, blue. And I got some Halloween ribbon. One is black and it has these small little bats. It has green, yellow, orange uh, bats on it. And then this one is orange and black bats. So you wanna cut it to approximately six, seven inches or so. And you're just going to tie them together and I'm just adding the blue, sorry, the orange and the black as a little accent. I already tied on the blue and the black one. So I'm gonna have three different types of ribbon that look like that, and it's going to be all <clears throat> attached. And so basically this is it. I mean, it's just, the, it's gonna go around the entryway wire hangers, no wire hangers ever. And uh, so I think it's gonna be kind of funny and cute at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so uh, welcome back to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. Today we're working on our wreath for our Mommy Dearest Halloween party. And uh, I ordered these wooden plaques off of Amazon. They're unfinished wood and I just painted it uh, black and I wrote Halloween royalty on there because in the movie uh, there's a line where L.B. Mayer calls her Hollywood royalty. So I thought it'd be funny about putting Holly Halloween royalty on there. And so I just got a natural uh, wreath. It, I left the plastic on it instead of taking it off. Um, 
so then this way it would not flake all over the place. And I got this black garland, once again off of Amazon. It's this uh, shiny metallic black garland. And all I'm doing is wrapping it around the natural wreath. And I wanna make sure that it's thick enough so you don't see any of that, the natural wreath through it. You could maybe uh, wrap it first with some black, uh, maybe yarn or um, something like that, just so you don't see that raffia through there. But you know what, with this, this is so thick that you definitely will not see it. And I'm actually using two of these they're approximately 15 feet long. The wreath is 16 inches wide. And so I'm just keep wrapping it around and around. Really easy, anyone can do this. Okay, so welcome back. So we're gonna put our wreath together. And as you can see, I already wrapped the garland, black garland around my wreath. I need to definitely attach it. As you can see, it's kind of hanging off there. So I definitely have to attach it maybe add some hot glue, but I wanted to show you a couple of things what I'm gonna to add to this wreath. Uh, first thing I'm gonna show you, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I got these little tiny, uh, hopefully you can see that, these little tiny uh, hangers, wire hangers. I thought it was really funny. Um, I, they were black, so I painted them white. I'm going to hot glue them on my wreath. Um, another thing, since uh, Joan Crawford liked blue, I got this blue metallic ribbon and I already cut it. Um, I made some ducktails on it. And basically these are about, I don't know, around five, six inches long. And you definitely want to pinch the middle and you're gonna do a twist once around. And you wanna make sure that the shiny side is showing just like that. And uh, we're also going to hot glue those going around. Um, I do have my Halloween royalty sign that's going to be on my wreath. And I also have, which is super, super important for this uh, Halloween wreath, is some Mommy Dearest uh, photos from the movie. So I actually got some photo paper and I cut out some images of uh, Joan Crawford when she was irate and uh, in the movie, of course. And so I'm going to add those. Now, I'll be back and I want to show you those because those are really important to add to this wreath. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back to show you those cutouts. And so I got these, uh, they're kind of like a photo, um, they kind of hold photos, photo holders, and they have like, a, it's a pin. So this works perfectly to add to our wreath. We're just going to punch it through, add it through our natural wreath. And I already cut out the pictures of Mommy Dearest. And I got some really scary images of her in the movie. And, uh, <laughs> and so these are gonna be in the wreath also. So basically those are the uh, main things I'm going to add to this wreath. The ribbon, the small little wire hangers, the images from the movie. We're gonna add our Mommy Dearest uh, items to our wreath and it's gonna look really cool. So first thing is when you have your ribbon, let me use this one. Remember that you want to pinch it in the middle and you're gonna do one full twist around and you definitely want the metallic side, both sides showing, right like that. And then you get your Mommy Dearest image that's on these um, little photo clips or hangers. And basically, you want to poke it through the ribbon and you want to add it to your wreath. And it will poke really easily in there. If you have any little trouble, all you have to do is just play around with it, but it will go in. So I'm gonna poke this one over here and you wanna make sure that it goes sideways, okay? So look at that, that worked really nicely. And you can see some of them that I have already on there. These scary images of Joan Crawford. 
And I'm gonna add another one. Um, let's do this one. And this ribbon has already been pinched. And I'm gonna add my uh, Mommy Dearest image there. Let's kind of twist that a little bit better. Just like that. And there's really like no right or wrong way to do this. All right, um, this one is the big one. I'm gonna put this on top and it says no wire hangers ever. So this is how it's looking so far. I think it's looking pretty cool. And then I wanna get these little tiny wire hangers. Gosh, can you see that? It's so small. Um, and I'm going to hot glue them on <laughs> my wreath. And I'm just gonna add a little hot glue. This thing will stick to anything. See, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> I just love how that looks. That's awesome. And see, making a wreath like this, like I said, I try to find some Mommy Dearest decorations and there are none. So if you can't find it, you're gonna have to make it. And this is where your creativity can come in to play and, and just have a good time with it. <laughs> I'm actually laughing as I'm doing this because I think it is so funny. <laughs> so here's my mommy dearest Halloween wreath, Halloween royalty. So I think it's uh, pretty cool and it's going to greet the guests when they come and knock on the door for our Mommy Dearest Halloween Party. Okay, so there's one last thing I wanna show you, and that is uh, the spooky mirror that I'm going to create for the Mommy Dearest Halloween Party. So I got a really cheap mirror at Walmart. I mean, it was only like five something, I think 598. So I figure $6, really cheap mirror. I took the brown paper off the back, and as you can see, it has this grayish black uh, coating on it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take away some of that uh, silvering of the mirror, and we're going to place Joan Crawford's picture in the mirror. And I'm gonna hang this up in the restroom, so when people use the restroom, Joan Crawford will be staring at them. <laughs> <laughs> so when we come back, we are going to show you how to put that together, so stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a box large enough to put your mirror in because you don't want to get your counter dirty. Um, you're going to have your image, so this is my uh, Joan Crawford face, place it on top of your mirror on the back and just go with the pencil to mark approximately how wide your image is. And then you're going to put that aside. You're going to get some Clorox and just put some Clorox on one of these um, Scotch-Brite uh, sponges that have the abrasive side. And all I'm doing is I'm going in the middle and I'm rubbing. And you're going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease. And I'm also ha I also have a um, scouring pad too. This is stainless steel. You're going to start rubbing really hard. We're going to scratch off that black. So when we come back, we're going to show you exactly what that looks like. So stay tuned. Let me show you quickly the how it's coming along so far. Um, right here, and I'm gonna put it up to the camera so you can see. I'm scraping, and you can see I'm starting to get a little hole there. In the front, you can see where it is there. So I'm gonna keep scraping, and like I said, it does take a little elbow grease, but if you have a good stainless steel uh, scrubber, also make sure that you wear gloves. It's very important that you wear gloves so you don't you know, you irritate your skin and you're going to keep rubbing and you want to make 
it just large enough to where the face is going to show. And with it kind of scratchy going around the face, I think it's going to look kind of cool and kind of spooky, especially when it's in the restroom with a little blue light in there. So stay tuned and let's see the final product. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to go up close to the camera so you can see it's kind of scratchy. So when you put the image behind it, you can see Joan Crawford staring back at you, which I think is kind of cool. So just picture it with some spider webs uh, going around this frame. And I'm still going to work on it, make it just a little bit larger so you can, her face, more of her face shows. Because you can see how large her face is. And just put it in the mirror. And I think it's going to look really cool when it's all done. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. So now I'm going to place my image on top of my mirror that's been scraped. And I'm going to check to make sure that's exactly where I want it. Wow, that looks so good. Looks very spooky. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. All right, so I have it where I want it. I'm gonna get a little bit of tape. You can just use regular scotch tape for this. And if it's not in the right position, you can always take the tape off. So it's pretty easy. Now the hardest part, it really was hard to scrape it, I must admit. So uh, use the steel wool. Also, you might need a knife to scrape it a little bit. And um, so it was a little labor intensive, it really was. But I think the end result is going to be really cool. Now I have some spider web, Halloween spider web. So I'm going to flip it over. I was debating whether to um, to paint my frame, but I think I'm going to leave it white because I think it makes it a little bit more spooky. And I'm just going to get some spider web here. You might need to get some scissors. and cut the piece off. Yes. Looks very spooky. Wow, you want to make sure it's very thin too. Oh wow, that looks really good. You wanna put it all over your frame. Even cover up the picture because that's gonna make it look even spookier. Let me cut this just a little bit. Sometimes you have to play around with a spider web. And if you have to attach it to the back, you can do that too. Wow. And I'm just gonna get some spiders maybe and put it on the frame. Let me just add a little bit of tape to the back just so it's gonna make sure that it's gonna hold. gonna look so cool in the bathroom. Joan Crawford staring at everybody. Wow, look how creepy that's starting to look. Very cool, I love it. Ah, oh, looks so good. And I'm gonna get finish it up with some spiders and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and it's looking really creepy. Wow, look at that. Look at this, it's looking really creepy. I wanna make sure that my spider web is uh, definitely attached in the back. You don't want a spider web hanging off. <laughs> Maybe a little bit would be cool, but not a lot. Now we're gonna add those spiders. So I have these spiders here. Wow, look at them, very creepy. The arachnid, and I'm going to probably put it right here. These have little strings on them. I guess you can hang them. But I'm going to take the string off of this one. So I don't like the way that looks. There we go. And what's cool about these is that they just hang on the, on this, on the uh, web. So pretty cool. I might put one more on top. Let me see. I think they're really creepy. And it's going to go so perfect with our mommy dearest Halloween party. And like I said before, since there are no decorations, you really have to make it yourself. So, 
Look at that. Ah, oh, I love how that looks. Look at that, mommy dearest, Joe and Crawford, staring back at you. Now I'll be putting this in the restroom. So when my guests come and they check their, themselves out in the mirror, they're gonna see Joe and Crawford staring back at them. Wait, I have one more thing and that is adding some lights to the back. So, you can see Joan Crawford. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Well, today we're gonna make our Hollywood royalty drink. This is our signature drink that we're gonna have for our Mommy Dearest Halloween party. And the first thing you're gonna need are three cups of ice. You're going to need four cups of lemonade. You're going to need one ounce of pineapple infused vodka. This is one ounce. You're also going to use a half, I'm mean, sorry, this is a fourth a cup, fourth of a cup of watermelon infused vodka. And this is this last ingredient is going to give us the color. Now, don't forget, Mommy Dearest, Joan Crawford, love the color blue. And there will be a lot of blue accents at the party. So we're going to have this a blue drink. So we're going to use a fourth of a cup. Fourth of a cup of blue curacao. And I'm going to mix that all together in my blender here. Let me just put the cap on my lemonade and turn this on. the color is perfect. Now before I pour it, I'm going to get my glass, I have a glass here, and I'm just going to put some lemon around the rim of the glass, and I'm going to use some white sprinkles. This is some white sparkling sugar. Maybe a little bit more here. And I'm going to dip my glass into the sugar to make sure it has a nice rim around there. Wow, look at that. And then I'm going to pour, let me get this out of the way, pour my drink. so pretty here. Let me put this up to the camera so you can see it. You see that? Look at that. Looks gorgeous. And now for a taste. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's really good. Love it. Now, you have to remember to sip on it because you don't taste the alcohol and after a while, you're gonna be feeling it. <laughs> so, cheers to a mommy dearest Halloween party. Mmm, so good, mmm. Okay, so welcome back to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. So we're gonna make uh, some hors d'oeuvres and this is really easy to make. You're gonna need some crackers. Um, I get these, they're called uh, crisp three, uh, 34 degrees crisp natural 
at Target, but you can use any cracker you would like. Um, I like these crackers because they are thin and they have, you have to be really careful when you work with them, but they have really nice uh, presentation to it. All right, so what you're gonna need is about seven uh, ounces of ricotta cheese or ricotta cheese. You're going to need uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic. You're gonna need um, some salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna add a little salt and a little pepper. And I'm going to mix this together. And then uh, you need some risotto. And I got this also at Target. Um, you can find prosciutto at any grocery store. And you want to cut your prosciutto triangular. So let me get a slice out. And I'm going to get my knife here and I'm going to cut it triangular. And these are really easy to make, guys. This is not hard at all. And let me move this so you can kind of see here. Um, so basically, it's cut triangular. And I'm going to roll it up with the thick side first. Just like that. So it looks pretty. I'm going to get my cracker. And look how easy this is. I'm just going to get some ricotta cheese, smear it thinly on my cracker. And I'm going to add my prosciutto on top and drizzle it with just a little bit of honey. And the honey will make it look really pretty. There. Awesome. And then you have a little to serve for your mommy dearest party. Mmm. 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 That's good. <laughs> mommy dearest Halloween party, take one. Well, I was trying to think about what kind of game we can play at our uh, Mommy Dearest Halloween party, and since there are no games out there, I had to create it myself. So what I did was I painted this really large, um, <clears throat> this really large picture, and I cut out the faces, and it's going to be used for a beanbag toss. Now, this is how the game is going to go. Um, I had this book that opens up for storage. And so what I did was I just did a Mommy Dearest sign on it and I also got the cover of the book and printed that out on my uh, scanner, on my computer, I should say, printer. And then I created the game. And this is just a trivia game from the movie. So it says Mommy Dearest Trivia Game. And it has uh, questions and some things like finish this line. Joan says, you know what's missing in my life? And Greg says, well, the answer is a hit movie. <laughs> um, and then it says, like, when Joan was cutting the rose bushes, she asked Tina to bring her what? So it's questions like that straight from the movie. And if the, there's going to be two teams, and if the person gets the question correct, then they get to toss two bean bags, but they have to toss them at the same time. And they're trying to get it through. Uh, these two holes. So Joan Crawford would be worth 10 points. Christina would be worth 5. If they make it through both, they get 15 points. If they make it through one, then they would get the 10 or the 5. And that would be for their team. And then the team that has the highest points wins. And they win a little bottle of champagne, which I think is kind of cool. 
Um, another thing too is uh, every guest will leave with one of these. A little Oscar that says, For you and only you, Doug and Yvonne's Mommy Dearest Halloween Party 2019. So I think that's kind of awesome too, so the little remembrance from the party. So let's get to that party.
cover up in this town that I don't know about. And your hands in every one of them. You reek of it! Damn it! Joan? Are you crazy? Are you blonde? Are you crazy? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me!